All right, all right, welcome back. Today, as you can see, we got Scooby's Hot Dogs. You know the rules. We're gonna eat it, we're gonna review it, we're gonna rate it, and then at the end, we'll give Scooby's an overall rate, but I loved their old-fashioned, like, diner-like styled restaurant. It was beautiful in there, love those vibes. But we got some good food today, so let's dig right on in. Up first, we're gonna start off with the fries. It's like a heavy, thick cut. Check those out. Oh, you already know. It's like a Five Guys style fry where, oh my gosh. And we don't dip in sauce here. I do when I eat it, but we need mm, the natural rating. Mm. Those are my type of fries right there. These and crinkle cut, right out of the bat. They could use a little more salt though. They are a little dry, but 8.5 out of 10 on the fries. Wow, that is delicious. Starting off pretty good. Let's keep it going. Hey, for me. Oh, you want some of the fries? Up and in. All right, Jess is here. <sighs> Real quick, though. This is my style of food, so I'm here. It is. She loves her fries. Bite it. What do you rate it? 8.5. 8.5. And what I like to see is the grease is coming through the bag. For health reasons, not a good sign. But for taste, we love to see the grease coming through the bag. We're diving right in. Scooby's Hot Dogs. Oh. We're gonna see if their hot dog lives up to the hype. We got a Chicago style dog because it's from the area and we are in Chicago, so that would make sense, right? But look at that, it's got all the toppings, the pickles. A good indicator though, if a hot dog is good, is if the bun has a little sesame seeds on it. Like mm -hmm. those hot dogs always are the best. Mm. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan, but this is a pretty dang good hot dog. And look at the, Look at the hot dog in there. We did get it charred, so it's charred to perfection. An absolute money with the toppings. Perfect amount, not too much, not too little. Mm. I'm giving that an eight out of 10, which is really good for a hot dog. I'm excited for, there's a root beer called Dog and Suds. Oh. And I'm a, I'm a root beer connoisseur. Introducing like the root beer? Root beer. So. We'll, we'll wait on, okay, or we're cracking that open. I love how the cashier handed it to me. And he goes, here's your bottle of suds. I don't know if I can open this. I don't know, is it a... This root beer won't be as high of a rating as it would be if it was in a glass with ice, but we still <laughs> rate it out of the bottle. To be honest, I prefer out of the bottle. I, like or, it. I don't it's know, it just ice. tastes more natural. Boom, dogs and suds. Honestly not. Not amazing. Doesn't have too much flavor for a hamburger. A hamburger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of the burger because we eat that next, but it doesn't have too much flavor for a root beer. Five out of ten for the root beer. Mm -hmm. That's disappointing. Yeah. Six out of ten because I like root beer, but <laughs> sad. All right, we are on to the burger, and I saw them making this in the back. They give you a fat amount of toppings. Like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of that. Look at that. You can like barely see the burger in there. There's just so many pickles, lettuce, onions, tomatoes. But here we go. Okay, overall, I honestly couldn't even really taste the burger. The bun was good. They charred the bun, so that's fire. But we're gonna have to give it a 6.5 out of 10 for the burger, I'm sorry. Just too many toppings. They overtook. I wanted to taste the patty and the cheese. I'm not touching that thing. Want a bite? No. Too much mm. tomato. All right, moving on to the onion rings. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of onion rings. So these gotta surprise me here. Just standard onion rings. Nothing special. Don't look very crispy though. I'm not a big onion mm. ring person. I'd rather get fries. It's all right. To be honest, we're just gonna go three out of 10 for the onion rings. I'm sorry, there's nothing special and I'm not too big of a fan of onion rings and is Olive is here again. Olive, <laughs> you don't have to sit there. All right, last but not least, we are on to, this is called the pizza, pizza puff. Pizza puff, check this thing out. It just looks like a little nice little pastry, little big hot pocket, whatever you wanna call it. Let's bite into it. Well, kind of looks gross. Yeah, it doesn't look the most appealing, 
but they pack this with meat and the pastry is very good. Overall, closing out the pizza puff, I'm gonna have to give it 7.8 out of 10. It was good, nothing spectacular. Definitely full of meat. We know like we like that. We like filling stuff with meat, you know? So go down, like and subscribe, and we're about to get into the final rating for Scooby's. Scooby's overall rate. Should I be concerned with what you just said? <laughs> no, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Because we're gonna give Scooby's hot dogs a drum roll, please. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for Scooby's. We're gonna keep that in. <laughs> Because Jess is a goof, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was it was pretty fire 7 out of 10 is a good score nothing spectacular. It's not horrible 7 out of 10 Gotta go try it for yourself. I guess anyways cheers Boom. <laughs>